Hi everyone, today's project is on this 36 inch right stander. What we're doing today is replacing the casters and the bushings on the front here. Uh, just a normal wear item uh, on these mowers that I've seen, mainly because in Florida we've got so much sand and this little mower I really do uh, put in a lot of different work environments. It just It's not just um, uh, nice St. Augustine. We've done fields with this. We've done uh, construction sites. Just very, uh, it gets used. Um, and the casters really take some of the abuse. <clears throat> but on a positive note, we've got 1200 and what is it? 1286 hours on it. And original motor, original hydros, one replaced hose on the right side due to the tires rubbing from low air pressure. So overall, even though we've got to uh, replace up here, I've replaced the bushings once and swapped the casters. So if that's an issue you have, um, you know, you can swap the casters and sometimes that helps. Because what I was having an issue with the first time I did the bushings, the brass bushings, well, see that wear area here? That's from, see how much of a gap is right in there? There's just so much worn away from the axle here on the caster that it just it angles it from being straight to angle it back like that and then it rubs but my issue before kind of hard to see but there's a area here where the tire was rubbing because this caster had so much of a, that same issue so I'll bring up new parts here So here's our new casters, or not, yeah, I think yoke, caster, whatever you want to call it. So see how nice and smooth, and we'll do a comparison once we pull those out. And then here's our new brass bushing. So, see this is supposed, to, this is how tight it's supposed to be. See that? And then, we'll set that one there. And then that's supposed to slide right over the top. And you can see, that's not the issue. So. With down here, there's only so much you can do with the uh, the sand and so forth. But uh, you know, we're going to do the best we can and uh, make it work. So, all right, we'll get this jacked up here and into position. We may end up taking this off. That's why I did it last time. But we're going to see if we can leave it installed, save a step, drive these bushings out with a punch and then get a uh, ball joint remover from O'Reilly's, rent that, and press the new ones in. That's what we're going to try. We'll see. <clears throat> but it is going to be a lot of noise. So we'll see how this goes. we got to get it jacked up high enough to uh, drop them out. We replaced the tires already this year, so we'll see if we can... We're going to pull the tires off first, clean those up again, and go from there. is in this caster. Look at that. Isn't that ridiculous? It looks like I'm missing a spacer here actually too. I think. You know? Yeah, I guess not. I don't know. Actually, I might need to buy one, to tell you the truth. Yeah. I actually might need to buy spacers. Huh. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad down here. Sand is bad. There's that one. Hand spacer. All greasy. And if you look how much look how much it's worn all around right there. Pretty rough.
Yeah, I might need a new spacer on that. We'll see. <clears throat> so that caster is probably pretty much done. The other side, we might actually keep that one. And, uh, use it for the bad one on my other one. That one's not quite as bad, but see, it's always this area right here. Down here doesn't wear as bad, but right there, that's what throws off the angle. Alright, now it's time for the fun of hammering these out. Alright, so let me unplug this from right here. So we'll run a, uh, we'll run our tap <clears throat> here, and then strike it, and so forth. And then, uh, and uh, go from there, and that should help us get these out. And then, like I said, I think it'll be easier just to rent uh, until I get my Harper Freight one. Just to rent a uh, a ball joint press to uh, to get those. <clears throat> so to get the new ones in, so we'll give that a try, see how it works, and I will let you know if that seems to be worth the uh, the extra work. Here's the old one. So you can see where the uh, spacer was uh, wearing that. So they don't last long. So that's where we're putting some new ones in. That one's not quite as bad, but we're replacing it. This one's chewed up pretty bad there, look at that. Alright, so that went a little bit easier than I thought. <clears throat> so 
so a little greasy obviously but that's okay to be expected all right won't need that again Look at all that. For this. There we go. Nice and clean. There's the lower. So this might be a little bit more worn. There may not be that natural ridge right there. And that one's nice and clean. So now this went pretty quick. So this has only been about 15 minutes since driving those out. So instead of getting all dirty to go to O'Reilly, I might actually try to um, um, drive these in myself here <clears throat> but uh, we'll see we'll see so you might have seen the videos for the um, the new jack from Harbor Freight but this one still works nice <clears throat> yeah for this one all right we're <clears throat> doing like so and right here So there's the one placed up, and then there is that. So you can see how a press might really be handy to put those together. Since currently I don't have them, we're going to try a couple different trips and see if I can uh, figure out a good idea to get those press samples. One thing I have is this ancient jet. Or oh, not jet, I'm sorry. Ancient clamp, so we'll see if this does anything. We'll try both at first, and then if that doesn't work, we'll just try one. Spray it down some silicone to encourage. See this, but it actually looks like it's working. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. That way you can you can see it better there. Let's see if this does the trick or if we break this. Preferably, we'd rather not break this. I think the bottom is going in. Might be better <clears throat> one at a time. Yeah, look at the blower one. That's awesome. Man, that's crazy. Look at that go in. Really nice. <clears throat> I figured it might be easier than hammering them. I did that last time. Probably not terrible, but I don't think it was the best for these soft pieces either. Alright. There's that. Okay. 
There's that one. I'm gonna leave that, I think. Here, so let's see if it works. Wow, look at that. Sure blew in there. I tell you what, this goes a lot faster than I thought. These, uh, these planks holding up pretty well. Look at that. Wow. See what I'm impressed. Never underestimate underestimate CRC heavy duty tools. Helps with everything. I think that's basically down there, folks. That's impressive. Surprised this old tool did so well. Uh, 